Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the UK Put Off. Um, if you join us for the first time, it's an hour of some of the best one liners in the country doing puns and wordplay about different topics. If you've come back because you've enjoyed it before, thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Um, you can see scroll along the bottom. We do have a PayPal account. So if anyone wants to make a voluntary contribution, that would help towards cost. That would be much appreciated. Much appreciated, even. But uh, my name's Julian Lee. I'm the host for this evening. We're going to get the first of today's panellists on, and that is Adele Cliff. Oh, hello. Hello, Adele. Look at that luscious hair. How are we doing? Are we all right? Thanks. Well, before we started, you were complimenting Love Dev on his luscious hair, and I got quite jealous. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'd better try and match him, at least on hair, if not on puns. Right. Well, it's about 15 years since anyone's complimented me on my luscious hair, but there you go. Oh, I was just about to as well. It looks great. <laughs> right, Adele obviously is the current UK pun champion. I uh, held at yeah. Leicester Comedy Festival. Well done. Um, and actually, next we've got someone who was the 2017 UK pun championship. Please welcome Love Dev Pop Hey. Hello, Love Dev. How was that win? I'm all right. How are you, mate? Okay, I'm all right. Are you with your mates there in the background? The yeah, book? yeah. You know, Weather Spoons, they opened up early, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get in there, get a quick point. Right, good, good. What have you been up to this week, Love Dev? Not a lot, just working. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Do you work for the NHS or do you work for That's again? correct, yeah. The, the NHS. NHS. Okay, well, Saints Love Dev is as we now call them. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you, Love Dev. Now, next is our friend from north of the border, Ian McDonald. Good evening, all. Hello, Ian. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Enjoying the sunshine this uh, this afternoon. Okay. Have you got over the heartbreak of last week's tiebreaker? Uh, you've got until 11 o'clock the next day to dwell on it, and then it's a clean slate. Very um, philosophical. And I don't, I don't take that advice, so no, I'm not over it. <laughs> Okay, Ian, nice to see you again. Uh, this week, for a change, we've got a different panellist, and we're very lucky to have him. Ooh. Tony Cowards, please welcome to the show. Yay, Tony. Hello. Hello, Hello Tony. Tony. That's, um, well, we are very pleased to have you, Tony. Tony is one of the best one-liners on the scene, definitely. Uh, how do you think you're going to match up with our regular panellists tonight, Tony? I don't know. It's a tough competition tonight, isn't it? <laughs> tough competition. So, people watching, remember, you are the one who decides each round, and you are the ones who decides. Well, the person who wins the most rounds is the one who wins. So, if you want Tony to win, because he's a newcomer and supporting him, get voting for him. But if you want Adele, Love Dev, or Ian to win, then Thanks. get supporting them as well. And yeah. one of the features we'll have of the show is that it, every topic we do, we invite you watching to to pun along, basically. So if you've got a pun on the topic that we're covering, then please put them on our Twitter or our Facebook page. <laughs> put them on our Facebook page or our Twitter page. Colin's going to come on and tell them between rounds, and then we'll vote for the winner of each round. Uh, if you're not sure, it's easy to follow, I promise you. Otherwise, they wouldn't allow me to host, would they? Um, I know what you're thinking. Where is Colin? Well, Colin is this week's producer and director, and he is going to be putting all the banners on there. He's going to be put coming on and telling the jokes and basically just making sure that we're behaving. Now, he's going to have his hands full with Adele, obviously, but I think the rest of us I've done should... nothing so far. I've done nothing wrong. Just been sitting here, being nice. I complimented you on your hair. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right, so anyway, we've got six topics. We did put them out on both Twitter and Facebook, so if you're watching along, you know what they are, but we pull them out the hat so people don't know what order they are. So we're going to start off this round. I'm going to pull it out, if you pardon the expression. And the first topic <laughs> is... It's the so it's very hard. I still haven't got the hang of this. Food. Food, there you go. There we go. Food is the there first we go. topic. Right, I'll put that to one side. Now, we're going to start off with... Adele? Adele, have you got your first food joke, please? Oh, yes, I have. Okay. Hello. Uh, as a nerd, I own a Marvel microwave. It's got four settings. Uh, they're Iceman, Thor, the Incredible Bulk, which is for bigger meals, and my favourite one, which is Maghito. Right. Okay. 
I presume they're all Marvel characters. I'm not aware of these things. <laughs> yeah, they're all very well known Marvel characters. <laughs> Love them. I see you've got a late snack behind you there. I have, yeah. That's that was that's what I had today. Uh, <laughs> for two. <laughs> Wait, do you want to tell you a joke, please? Yeah, sure. So a local Sikh temple are providing food for Birmingham hospitals during the pandemic. They're also delivering them. I guess you can call it Guruba Eats. Right, there we go. I don't know enough about Sikh temples to know that, but yes, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Ian, your joke, please. Right. Um, I was uh, I ordered a meal in a restaurant, um, but when it gets served to me, all that happened was a little yellow alien with one eye came and started touching me up. I said, waiter, I didn't mean that kind of silly mignon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Tony, don't let the nerves get to you. What's your first joke, please? Well, I, I want to talk about my breakfast because I had uh, bubble and squeak for breakfast this morning. And now I've got to buy the kids two new hamsters. Hey. <laughs> 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 well, you you're not that Jack, Tony, have you? <laughs> in, That's in, in, brilliant. If I, if I can just paraphrase the killers, I've got ham, but I'm not a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Adele, round two, please. Oh, yes, of course. Um, last time I cooked Chinese food, I spilt ramen down Madras. Oh, sorry, that was my Asian fused pun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Oh, yes. yes, I got that one. I do know <laughs> some things, you know. Okay, no, this, yeah. one, this one isn't as clever. My milk shakes brings all the Arabs to the yard. Ah. Can you bring them to St. James's Park, please? Or not, <laughs> depending on the human rights uh, record. <laughs> Ian, please. Uh, people often ask me why I've got a frozen chip as a walking stick. I tell them that's McCain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well done, okay, then. Tony, please. Listen, well, I told you about my breakfast. I'll tell you about my lunch today because I had my lunch uh, today outside a supermarket, or as the Italians call it, Al Tesco. Al Tesco. <laughs> 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 uh, that's the second round. We've got one round left, but um, I can see that we've already had I.B. Laughing, Peter Cole Poet, and Jake Bev put some posts, uh, some jokes in. So if you are watching, put your jokes on, please. Uh, and let's have the third and final round for food, please, Adele. Um, I keep white chocolate down my top. The milky bras are on me. Hey. <laughs> hey. Right, love Dev, please. Right, Dad's brought home a load of pork chops. Oh, dear. Looks like he's been shopping at Haram Foods again. <laughs> Haram Foods? Supermarket? <laughs> Ian, you please. Um, my wife has recently left me because of my pasta touching fetish. I'm feeling kind of lonely right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did she leave you because of a few silly mistakes? Obviously not, right? <laughs> Tony, if you can finish the round off, please. Well, I've invented a breakfast cereal for Spanish horses, and I've called it Donkey Oti. <laughs> there we go, the man of La Mancha. Right, I'll add a couple of quick ones and then we'll go to the jokes with Colin. Yes. Yeah, sure. um, did you hear about the Friends character who really liked to get her food laid out on the table for nothing? Freebie buffet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I asked them um, the food food areas, would they use a Beatles song to advertise? The Heinz Zone said no. But the Norwegian would. <laughs> Great. After that high point, Colin, have you got the jokes for the viewers, please? Oh, hello, everyone. How, how are we doing? Uh, there it is. It is chaos at a pitch side tonight. Uh, we have got some <laughs> wonderful jokes coming in. Um, oh, another one just come in. Um, I'm going to start with a clean one. We've had some filth in, so you'll like that, Adele, as well. Um, <laughs> Peter Cole Poet says, I didn't mean to. It was a miss 
steak. Yeah. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, Jake Bev uh, says, uh, someone snuck in last night and threw oats everywhere. Next morning, there I was, Quakers in my boots. Right. <laughs> very nice. Um, also, who's this? Oh, uh, Adrian Hull. Hello, Adrian. I've been trying to diet recently. Unfortunately, I've just got too far too much on my plate. Uh... <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, uh, following on from what we said earlier, um, what do you call a fat goth? Vampire, vampire, the buffet slayer. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be laughing. Can you finish in? off. So, sorry, Julian. How was the voting coming in? Sorry, if you've got one more joke, tell that, and then we'll do. I've got one more joke. Yeah, we need some votes. We need some votes in to say who won that round uh, out of these four wonderful punters. Who won that round? Whilst you're doing that, uh, just a bit of filth that came in earlier. Yeah, writing thing says my girlfriend calls me the restaurant critic because I love eating out. So that <laughs> is ridiculous. If um, someone could explain that to me later, please, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> um so far, um, so far, the jokes have come in. We have uh one for Tony, one for Tony, our guest Tony. Uh, another yes. joke for uh, Ian there, iMac pun to win, Adele's hair for the win. <laughs> and another one for Ian. So at the Ooh. moment, with to two votes for Ian, at the moment that uh, round has gone to Ian. Yay! There we go, there we go. Ian. Oh, Fantastic. Right. All right. Thank you. So Ian's ahead. Good. So, uh, Colin, thank you for that. You're we'll welcome. See you for the next round. I'm just going to get rid Hi, of that. Hi, Colin. <laughs> right then. So that God. was the first. Oh, that was the first round. That was food. So now let's have the exciting draw. We didn't have a drum roll last time. Can I have a drum roll for the draw, please? Right. Now this could get a bit dark. Childhood. Okay. <laughs> Childhood. Right now, as Ian won that one, Ian, could you start this round, please? Okay. Um. I was curious to find out what sounds my baby was making. So I had to Google Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Tony, you please. Well, I had a very tough childhood. My family were very poor growing up. Uh, we were so poor, we lived in an anorak. And I have to tell you, it was tough growing up in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Adele, please. Uh, for my 10th birthday, I received a really sexy digital pet. I was like, damn, it got you. <laughs> <laughs> you children of the 90s, eh? <laughs> Love death, please. Hey, you what? Child labourers, they get a lot of stick when they're not working. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, <laughs> you've moved on from the disabled from last week, you know. Oh, oh, yeah, wait right for the others to come in. <laughs> right don't forget post your jokes if you're watching and we'll get them read out between rounds and obviously you're deciding who wins the rounds as well so have a think are you going to vote for the person who's been the most consistently funny through the round or the person with the funniest joke it's up to you right uh, Ian can you go over the second one please yeah there was this dwarf that wanted to go back to work after giving birth unfortunately she was only offered many mum wage Mini <laughs> mum, right, there we go. Tony, you please. Well, as a child at school, I was terrible, uh, really. My worst subject was geography. I was always mixing up the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. And my teacher said I had a latitude problem. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Adele, talking of latitude problems, Adele? Hey, feeling very targeted. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, when I was at school, I was a teacher's pet, which meant I had to go home with a different member of the class every weekend. Right. <laughs> and that day we is on sale next week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Love, Dev, yours, please. Yeah, sure. Did you know Bill Gates' first child was cesarean born? Yeah, he came out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Right. To be honest, I hope you're all enjoying this at home. But I, I'm enjoying it. That's the most important thing. 
<laughs> right, round three. <laughs> Ian, please. Right, there was a hypnotist who said that he could hypnotise people to experience life just before they were born. He would say, three, two, one, and you're back in the womb. Back in the womb. <laughs> Tony, please. Well, uh, at my school as well, we had a very weird chemistry teacher. He'd uh, often take the lessons naked and eventually he was arrested for exposing himself to the elements. <laughs> <laughs> Adele, please. <laughs> uh, my sister has two children. One's a boy and one's a girl. Uh, which one do I prefer? Well, the girl is the niecest. <laughs> uh, look, Dev. Yeah. For many children, during the partition of India and Pakistan in 1947, it wasn't all fun and games, unless they were playing hide the seek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, uh, Indian. <laughs> Indian independence. It's just, it's just a mine of gold for comedy, isn't it? <laughs> was that the second one? Sorry, I've lost track already. That was the third one. I think we're right now. That's, that's yeah, third. That's three. That's awesome, right. man. What, what kind of host am I? That was the third one. Okay, <laughs> then. Very quickly, I'll do a couple of people's names. Um, the, fear that the, the children author who enjoys chocolate role play the most is Beatrix Potter. Yeah, and uh, I've just found out from a fountain pen that I've got a little child I had in England. <laughs> right, uh, Colin, can you save us after those two poor jokes, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, we have had some wonderful ones coming in. I will read them in uh, the order they came in. Uh, here we go. We've got Chris. Uh, Chris Barnes, I used to play Knockdown Ginger until he wasn't allowed out anymore. <laughs> uh, is that a thing? No, Knockdown Ginger? Yeah. yeah. Do we need I... to educate you, Adele? Yeah. What is we it? Do... Like bullying people. <laughs> no, Knockdown yeah. used to knock on the door and run away, and they would go, who's knocked on the door? It must be a ghost. That was oh, basically how that we grew up. It's not called Knockdown Ginger. Yeah. Trap door run away. It's called parcel force. It's it? called knock and run. <laughs> parcel force. <laughs> in, in the northeast, oh. it's called knocky nine doors. No. <laughs> knocky nine can, I just say, can I just point out, I'm actually the uh, reigning world champion of Knocktown Ginger. So I actually uh, ran over Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, very good. Uh, Peter Cole, poet. As a child, I could control seabirds with my mind. It was my gullibility. Gullibility. Well, that, that took a turn for the verse, did it? Turn for the verse. <laughs> <laughs> and if you believe that, you have gullibility too. Nice. Um, we've got one from the... Who's this? Sherbert Trotter. Boris Johnson yeah. has just, just been confirmed 2020 hide-and-seek champion. Is I've still a... seen too much of him for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, here we go, and we've got one last one for from Chris. Chris, my brother brought home sickness and diarrhea. His friends have weird names. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going on to who might have won this round. Do send in who you think won the round. Uh, we have a uh, one vote at the moment, and that one vote is for <laughs> Tony to win. Oh, so thank you. We... There oh, we go. Adele, my sister's probably done you, man. I know. Yeah. What happened, Abby? I thought we had a thing. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the votes are coming in thick and fast now. We did have one for Ian for that round, but also from Sherbert, but also Ian says Tony oh, and Peter, Peter says go. Tony. So uh, Tony for the win on that one. Tony is won. Yeah, well, well done, Tony. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Colin. Thank you very much for that. Uh, by the way, just to remind you, the PayPal link is scrolling along the bottom there. Any voluntary contributions will be welcome. I know some of you got paid on Thursday, so you know what I mean. PayPal.me forward slash UK pun off. <laughs> right then, I'm just going to say a quick hello to people who may not have had a joke right now yet. Uh, Rob Torfield, we know you, a friend of Colin there. I be laughing. Jake Bear, thanks for watching. Dave Hancock, Davey Hancock's a Northern Soul DJ up in Newcastle. Hello, Dave. Adrian Hurley's a Newcastle comedian as well. Hello, Chris Barnes. 
Uh, Sherbert Trotter, that's a new name for me. Thanks for joining us, Sherbert. And Abby W. Lee, well, I spoke to you yesterday, so I know you. Jan <laughs> first. Yes, friend of uh, Collins again. And uh, I think that's everyone I've mentioned. If I haven't mentioned you, please remind us on the live comments. Now, time for the third round. Third hey, round. I've got the drum roll here. Yeah. <laughs> got a win for Ian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounds a bit like feedback. <laughs> yeah, from a promoter. Isn't that the name of your podcast, Adele? Uh, it will be when I eventually get it started. Right. Okay, then. It's going to be right, called cool uh, feedback. This round is, I still don't know which way to go. I need a thicker pen as well. I promise you, it says plants. Uh, plants. There we go. Plants. I had a heart attack then. I thought it said peanuts. I thought. <laughs> By plants, you mean people that we've put into the audience to tell us things that are going to help. That doesn't exist in comedy, Dell. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, no, fine. As we were. Right then. Well, right, Tony, if you don't mind, because you won that round first, I'm going to start with you. Ah. So, how do you how do you greet a dermatologist? Hello, Vera. Ah. <laughs> All right then, Adele, please. Um, I saw a TV show about a uh, forest where businessmen go to wank. It's called Escape to the Country. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, Collins, Mum. Adele's back on the full floor there. Hi, Collins, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dev. Your turn, please. Got some herbs for sale. Uh, mint condition. No time wasters, please. <laughs> uh, everyone knows my thoughts on jokes about time to get why I'm swiftly on. <laughs> Ian, you please. Yeah, you know, I like to change the colour of fast growing herbs in my garden. Sorry, I digress. Um, <laughs> a joke about plants. Um, I, once ate, I once ate a flower that tasted like uh, custard creams, it was a hibiscus. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, that's the end of the first round. I'll try and remember how many rounds this time. Don't forget to post your jokes on, please, on Twitter or Facebook. Colin will read them out between rounds. Tony, next round, please, or second round. Okay. Well, first of all, this isn't my joke, but I agree with you, Julian. Uh, I don't think we should be doing jokes about herbs, really. And that's uh, that's my sage advice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, speaking of uh, plants, isn't it? Because because uh, I've actually I've actually been to the garden centre today. Yeah, just uh, spent a couple of hours standing in the middle of my garden. <laughs> <laughs> Adele, please. Uh, what's that say? My time as a horticultural rebel was short lived. I fought the lawn and the lawn won. Uh, oh. nice. Love love Dev, please. So Grandad thinks if you warm seeds up in a microwave, it'll turn into a radioactive plant. <laughs> right then. And uh, Ian, finish the second round off, please. Yeah, I wanted to put up a fence to keep out intruders. Um, so I tried kind of um, thorns. They weren't that good. Um, I tried some nettles. They weren't very good either. Then I tried some drawing pins. And they were they were great. <laughs> it turns out attack is the best thorn in defence. Right. <laughs> hey, then. Uh, Ian McDonald, the new seven-lane champion of the world. Uh, <laughs> what <one line, laughs> uh, Seven lanes. <laughs> or what Pete Doherty calls a night out. <laughs> hey. uh, Tony, start round three off, please. Well, I, I looked in the mirror this morning and I realised I had some moss on my hair. I wasn't really a fan of it, but now it's starting to grow on me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get that moss in the, in the shops? Can you? <laughs> I need something to pick this up. Adele, please. I've got some spare if you guys need. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I've got some spare. It's just on me back, unfortunately. Adele, please. Um, what am I going to do? Oh, my friends keep trying to set me up with people at parties, but I spent most of my time hiding behind plants because I'm very socially orchid. The <laughs> orchid, yeah. Love Dev. Well, uh, I've got a similar joke to Tony. Uh, Aloe vera, a lonely hearts column for plants. <laughs> <laughs> Agony plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Ian, please. Right, it's, uh, there was an interview with Liam Gallagher, and he was asked why he always referred to his younger brother as a flower. He said, what, well, you mean all kid? Ah, very good. <laughs> Even though fact fans, Liam Gallagher is the youngest brother, but never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. Right, uh, third round. Tony, can you start us off, please? Oh, have we not done three? That's us, three. I think we've done three. Yeah, that's well, true. You believe I'm just enjoying the joke so yeah. much. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> right then, um, I'll only tell one. You'll be glad to hear. Um, the head of the room, <laughs> the head of the Roman Catholic Church, who enjoyed dried perfume flowers the most, was the Russian one, Pope Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm hoping there's a time delay, otherwise these jokes are poorer than I thought. <laughs> right. Colin, again, save me, please. <laughs> uh, we've had a lot of jokes in for plants. Everyone loves good, a bit good. of... Uh, yeah. Maybe the plant topic is growing on people. Oh! Ooh. Leaf yeah. it out, Adele. Leaf it out. All right. Uh, <laughs> We're all branching out now. Okay, stop. Okay. Um, sorry, so, I think you're the root of the problem, Colin. Okay. <laughs> Come on, leaf it out. Oh. Look at the risk oh. going on here, man. Eh? <laughs> Jake Bev, uh, some herbs tried to repossess my house the other day. Bloody bay leaves. <laughs> um, Ian, Ian, uh, hello, Ian. Good evening to you. A couple of deer surrounded my polyantha. There was a rose between two fawns. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, this is a two part of this one. Um, so the setup is something like this from Peter the sun's light energy and converting it into chemical energy. And then he says, in all my years following, I have never seen a photo since of this. Yeah. Well, as soon as you is... said two-parter, I knew it was Peter Cole Poet. He <laughs> likes to try and confuse us. <laughs> Peter. Um, <laughs> Steve Gibson. Hello, Steve. Nice to see you. Uh, saw a spitting double of Michael J. Fox at the florist the other week. He was just standing there with his back to the fuchsias. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um, uh, Oxy, Chris Oxy, hello, Oxenbury, hello, Oxy, how you doing? Um, now, uh, I don't know who's going to win mm. this, but someone's parsley. Can we, uh, can we explain <laughs> that? I don't, I you have to explain that one. Um, that's the, Maybe she um, fell asleep halfway through the joke or something. Someone's <laughs> parsley, I think he means. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and then someone says, um, this is Mark, hello, Mark. Uh, an audience member to a stand-up comedian. Don't expect me to agree with you. I am not your plant. That's basically what I was saying earlier. There we go. All right. So um, thanks for sending those in. We've had a lot of votes in. Um, let me just see. Sherbert says Ian to win. So that's one for Ian. Then we've got Jake saying Adele. Uh, we've also got uh, Abby saying Welcome Adele. Welcome back, Abby. Yeah, welcome back, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ian says Adele to win that one as well. Um, and then also, uh, Adrian Hull, Adele that one as well. So, I, I ah. Adele, it's Adele to win. I'm a vegan, I don't wear the plants around then. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. By the way, I Only saw that shirt that he, uh, he likes to dab. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that was a sweet joke. Okay. Hey. <laughs> right, hey, I'm going to go. He's got a powder his nose there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're halfway through the show. Ooh. Ooh. Right there. Ooh. Next one is music. 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 There we go. So we're going to have jokes about music. Don't forget you at home. Please send your jokes in about music. Colin's going to read them out at the end. Peter called poets. Try and fit them into one tweet, please. Make it easier for us. <laughs> um, we, we do like the fact that you're getting involved. Thank you very much. What we're going to do, I'm going to go clockwise. Uh, sorry, anti-clockwise this time. We're going to start with Adele, then go to Tony and so on. Okay. So, um, Adele, can you start, please? Sure. Uh, I went to a piano concert in a nightclub recently. Saw some incredible fingering. <laughs> there you go <laughs> Tony so you've got to follow that well I once uh, made some music 
with the former vice president of the United States of America. It was based on mathematical sequencing. It was an algorithm. <laughs> Man, cool. Ian, I think you did something similar last week or the week before, didn't you? Yeah, I'm going to have to just come up with a third joke on the fly now. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> right. Sorry, I could do Ian, different one. there you go. Your right. first joke, please. Um, do you know that Mick Jagger used to be a chauffeur for a lot of supermodels? Yeah. He'd pick up the likes of Heidi Klum and Naomi Campbell. He never got to pick up the one he really wanted. A Rolling Stone gathers no moss. <laughs> there you go. Look there, please. I only buy records. Oh, I've messed it up. <laughs> Carry on, come on. Love wins. I only buy vinyls for the record. Uh, oh, actually, look, Dev, now you mentioned that. Can I just mention my friend's record shop? 586 Records there. Yeah. It's not my record shop, it's Tony Daly's. Tony supported the show last week with a little bit of a donation as well. So that's just my way of saying thank you, Tony. 586 Records, you will post your vinyl out. Right, uh, Adele, start the second round, please. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I got in a lot of trouble when I tried to fit my favorite favorite grime artist into a cup, but it was all just a Stormzy in a teacup. Yeah. Mug, yeah. mug is a better word to use there. Should have said mug. <laughs> yeah, Adele, mug. Adele, Adele's down with the kids there. We're still <laughs> doing carbon nuts jokes over here. Adele's <laughs> doing jokes. Um, Tony, please. Well, um, to go back to the 90s, so this is a bit of a dated reference, but uh, Brett Anderson keeps phoning me up to ask me to join his band, but I won't be swayed. Ah. <laughs> I went to see Swede in 1993, actually. There you go. And I, actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I were you even born then, Adele? I was born in 1993, yes, Great. I was alive yeah. at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, please. <laughs> Uh, do you know which rapper is always up for a threesome? Nicky Minaj a Trois. <laughs> <laughs> Love Dev likes the thought of that. Love Dev, your like joke, that. please. I like that joke because it kind of relates to mine. My nan got so carried away break dancing, she ended up getting a hip hop replacement. Hip hop <laughs> replacement, yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, Adele, start the third round, please. Are we are we sticking in the hip hop slash rap genre? Is that what it's become? As well. Okay. Um, what rap group is the most likely to make you itchy? The Yeasty Boys. The Yeasty Boys, yes. Tony. Well, not a lot of people know this about me, but I actually used to be the DJ at Stonehenge, although I no longer mix in those circles. Very <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> Ian, next please. Uh, do you know what R. Kelly's favourite guitar chord is? You would think that it was a G. It's actually <laughs> A minor. Hello. <laughs> there we go. I love them. Well, Ian, I'm glad you did guitars because this one is all about guitars. I'm actually you feeling, me up, man. You, might, you set me up big time. Uh, I'm feeling a little pear shaped since my guitar shop. Got raided. Yeah, they took the whole loot. I know what you're thinking, liar. Well, <laughs> they even took my favourite four-year-old, Mandolin. Man. <laughs> there we go. Here's the music. I'm glad to come Bang, out bang. <laughs> uh, I've enjoyed the tumbleweed after every joke I've told so far, so let's, let's <laughs> carry it on. Uh, Beatle John's first wife preferred electronic music much more than his second wife. And that's why she was called Cynthia Lennon. <laughs> nice sympathy laugh from uh, Love Dev. Could... Love Dev, I know you were described as the Asian Ken Goodwin, but you could be the Asian Sid James as well with that laugh. <laughs> Probably could. <be. laughs> if John Bon Jovi had been born 100 years earlier, he'd have been living on a prairie. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Colin, still a bit dodgy, but you don't have to save us as much this day, don't you? <laughs> well, again, music's been really popular here uh, on in the world of Facebook. 
Um, so let me let me just read some of these out. Uh, Ian, who's been very prolific tonight, uh, I was asked. It's very filthy as well. I was asked yes. to come up with a name of a children's violin ensemble. I should have thought of something better than Kiddie Fiddlers. I, mean, <laughs> uh, I think uh, Ian's no. been to the same comedy school as Adele. Yeah, I'm... yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um peter oh peter where's your pun gone there we go um i'm glad bob marley's not alive now he famously said i dread lockdown mm. okay it's dread lock, that that? bob marley um bob marley's tennis album yeah it's called one love oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that's an ace joke all right okay. yeah um, hey. Here we go. Peter Cole, uh, Prince, the, or the artist formerly known as Prince, cross-pollinated a tomato and a Suzuki. Uh, he ended up Suzuki. with a little red... <laughs> <laughs> Not Suzuki. Sorry. <laughs> it's it, tricky when I can't it, read. Cross-pollinated anyway, cross anyway, the... with a Suzuki, it's hard to catch up. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, well, hey, Tony... I'm going to go to the garden. Um, okay, let's move on. Sorry about that, Peter. I messed that one up. Um, Jay, John, Paul, and George are legends, but Ringo's a star. Lovely stuff. Nice. Shall I tell you who is a good fellow? It's Eamon Goodfellow. Here he is. Hello, Eamon. Uh, I sang some corn the other day. It was music to their ears. Yes. How nice. Oh. Very nice. That um, amazing. <laughs> um We've got, uh, here we are, from Chris. Uh, Chris, which opera singer won the Barry Cup? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Burberry Cup. <laughs> Burberry oh, Cup. Nice Chavary I, I can't read. I can't read. Can someone else do it? Oh, are you doing this on like a tiny little screen or something? That you <laughs> <laughs> Get off your phone, Colin. I'm being blinded by my lamp that I bought to do this, and I can't actually see. Okay. <laughs> my friend used to do security at the opera. He was the Nesson doorman. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll carry on. Uh, Adrian, um, Miss Sister, he can't. So me, Sister, me, Sister can't stop washing her hands whilst listening to music. Her favourite band is OCDC. There we go. <laughs> Adrian's right. daughter, you see, we don't see my, we see me. Ah, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Um, right, let's see who won that round. Uh, whilst I was being uh, illiterate, um, <laughs> the votes have been coming in. So let's see. Um, oh, we've got a vote there. Here we go. Peter Cole says, uh, love them. Uh, <laughs> uh, his last one. <laughs> there was four puns in that, four puns. It's a bittersweet, uh, isn't it? Bittersweet. Yeah. Um, Tony for this round oh, says sure, thanks, yeah, uh, oh, Abby, you. Tony for this round. Let's scroll down. Let's see. Um, and then, and then we just got Ian, Julian for the win, <laughs> supporting local businesses. Ah, oh, very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, cheers, Julian, for that. So, uh, at the moment, it's two votes. Oh, no, two and two. One, oh, vote oh, oh me and Tony. Oh, so at the oh, moment. Penalty yeah, um, well, whilst you're uh doing, can, have you both got one more pun on on music that you could do? I've just done it, the Bob Marley one. Ah, <laughs> right, okay. Um, well, uh, we're not getting any more votes, right, or can we reach an accord? Oh. <laughs> there you go. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got two more, love, Dev. I'll give you one of mine. Go on, Dev. <laughs> Well, why don't we give them a half each? Just, half, half, just to half, keep the point keep each. Keep yeah, the, no. Why doesn't Tony cover his mouth and say a pun and Love Dev has to mouth along? <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep the tiebreaker for right at the end. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll just say that half a point goes to Tony and half a point goes to Love Dev. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to go to Specsavers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've just remembered um, Dolly Parton did a German music show in the 90s, uh, but refused to go on with the band who did the song Keep On Moving. She said nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a laugh. Way. <laughs> right then, let's pull this one out. My, as my comedy career, gone to the dogs. 
Go on to the dogs. Oh. So we're going to do dogs. Okay. Mm. Not dogging, Adele. <laughs> Can I yeah, have one minute to write three Right, we're going to start with Love Dev this time and we're going to go clockwise again because I'm just a conformist at heart. So, Love Dev, you first, please. Yeah, I think I've created a website for infested cats and dogs. It's called wegottics.com. <laughs> Next, Ian, you next. <laughs> I'm gonna follow that. Um, I'm absolutely scared to death of small dogs. You could say I'm terrified. <laughs> right then, Tony, please. Well, about about a month or so ago, I uh, I ate a Yorkie, and now I'm banned from Crufts. <laughs> <laughs> Adele, please. Uh, last time I went to the cinema, I saw a trailer for Battersea Dogs Home. It was in full surround hound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look at the second one, please. Do you know China? Yes. Do you know China, the country? Yeah, yeah it's yes. a dog eat dog world. <laughs> <laughs> Love Dev doing his best for UK China relationships, eh? Dog eat dog world. <laughs> Ian, moving swiftly on, please. Yeah, um, <laughs> I've recently got a job castrating dogs. You could say I'm still neuter at all. Oh, very good. <laughs> By the way, Love Dev, genuinely, do you know my dad's dad from China? Do you know that? <laughs> Your dad's dad? Is from China. <laughs> So uh, we'll get some dog recipes for you later. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> Tony, you please. <laughs> well, my neighbours have just found out that their dog's in heat, which was a surprise because they didn't even realise she was a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that joke. Adele? Um, which dogs make the best jelly? Irish setters. <laughs> <laughs> Love Dev, which nation are you going to upset now, please? Well, this one's to do more with um, cannabis. Uh, I keep a variety of dog sniffers, like my K9, uh, then there's my Siberian Hashki. Oh, and also there's my Doobie Man. Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ian, please. I'm currently reading a book saying why we shouldn't euthanize dogs. Just can't put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, please. Well, um, my dog, we don't know what breed our dog is, so uh, but it moves unpredictably from side to side, so we think it, it's a lurcher. <laughs> <laughs> Adele, can you finish us off, please? I'd rather not, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, my dog won't stop fetching the urine samples. He's a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, don't forget, we've got a lot of dog jokes there. Remember, who, you've got to vote for the winner of the round as well. No more half points, please, come on. I'll just tell one quick joke, you'll be pleased to hear. Our canine is always checking on the neighbours from behind the curtains. It's a Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Colin, get yourself in here, please. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Somebody's got <laughs> on my glasses. <laughs> I, it's Clark I, Kent. <laughs> I don't even wear glasses. These are prop glasses. <laughs> I'm going to wear them. All right, so... Um, here we go. I'm going to put some up uh, as they came in. Oh, we got one for, one in from uh, the post office. Oh, as in, in. <laughs> yes. Um, they watched last week and now they're joining in. My mum's got a dog staying with her. It's her border collie. Oh, that is oh, nice. lovely. Good, good Very delivery. Nice. Line, Very <laughs> <laughs> First pass. But, um, very good, Peter. Very good. Peter has said uh, a cover of "Who Let the Dogs Out" has been released. By Spaniel <laughs> Tap and remixed by Mastiff Attack. That is Very amazing. Good. Very good. Chip 
<laughs> uh, Jake Bev. I got off at the wrong district stop line uh, on the uh, in East London. All the dogs were rowdy. It was barking. Uh, very <laughs> nice. Uh, Chris, very good. Chris, I've been teaching my dog to beg <laughs> last night. He came home with 40 <laughs> points. <laughs> um, he needs to improve quickly then. <laughs> <laughs> um jake bev again i got a dog to help me pick up girls but he keeps leading me on very nice <laughs> um one from chris now that actually i did laugh out loud when i read it um my dog i took my dog to the flea circus and he stole the show that is uh, <laughs> quite fun i quite like that one um ian ian bowden i promised i only have eight jokes about dogs oh k9 Okay, no. very good, very good, very good. Okay, uh, right down. I think we had a few in. Um, oh, and then we've got people. Uh, oh, here we are. One, one last one from Chris. My dog hates fireworks. He thinks they are a waste of money. Okay, fine. It's more of a statement about dogs and fireworks. I got it. Okay, the cogs working there. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I haven't got a prop for stupidity, only for visual uh, jokes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, who has won? Who has won? Let's have a look. Um, Abby thinks Ian for that round. Oh, oh. okay. One for Ian. Uh, Peter, Tony that round. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, here we go. Um, uh, who's this? Uh, Ian, oh, uh, another close one. I go with Ian. Uh, Rob Tofield. Hello, Rob Tofield. Adele for the finish you off. <laughs> Thanks, Just... Rob. I think in a round about dogs, it's important not to roll over. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that is it for the votes of the That's moment. Right. There's one more vote. Oh, yeah. There you is one more vote. There it is. Adele. So <laughs> I'm going to say at the moment, Adele has won that round. Well Yay. done, Adele. Yay. Very good. Very good. Right. What that means is that anyone can still win the tournament. Ooh, yeah. we're at the tournament. Ooh. Absolutely. Ooh. Attention. Ooh. So what we do? We will. I wouldn't get too excited, Adele. You know what the topic is now, don't you? <laughs> oh. The last okay. round will be Germany. <laughs> Germany. Right. So get your German heads on just before we do the last round. If you've enjoyed the show, there's the PayPal link at the bottom, paypal.me forward slash UK pun off. It just allows us to cover costs for apps, for getting guests on, things like that. And obviously, love Dev's um, moose for his hair. So, <laughs> <laughs> I need some hair dye now. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the last round. Don't forget to send your Germany jokes in on the side. Colin will read something different out altogether, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the last round. Remember, whoever wins this round wins the whole show. <laughs> right then, let us start with Adele, please. Okay. Um, uh, recently, I saw a gorgeous picture of the German leader taken from 70 degrees. That was a cute angler, Merkel. <laughs> uh, nice, nice. Nice. Look there, please. I saw a German choking on his beer the other day. I saved him with a Heineken manoeuvre. <laughs> Isn't Heineken Dutch? Just, it here. Just go with it. Just go with it. It's all the same to me. <laughs> Liam, Liam's a younger brother. Why facts get in the way of a good joke? <laughs> Sorry, Ian. Ian, there you go. Your joke. Yeah, um, a friend of mine said that they thought that this baby frog looked a bit German. Or as a tadpole myself. <laughs> oh, cool. Tony, please. Uh, well, I'm I'm a big fan of oversized German football shirts, by and large. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Ian, you've got a punchline for by and large about some girls, though, isn't it? So yeah. what I'm discovering more and more is that wordplay very much relies upon the same sort of mindset, so... Oh, yeah, I'm not knocking anyone for it. That's the last thing I meant to say. I'm just trying to show that I do listen to you. If you pay attention to your jokes, that's what I meant. Adele, if you can start the second round off, please. Sure. Um, I've heard that the best place for plastic surgery in Germany is Leipzig suction. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Dev. 
Do you know what I love about it? German supermarkets? Oh, I could just stay in there all day. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, please. Do you know that German parents, to get their children up in the morning, talk about who in their biggest river? They say, okay, shies in rain. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, follow that spoonerism. Well, this kind of relates to Ian's thing, actually, because I don't know if you know this, but uh, German children actually grow from kinder eggs. Kinder <laughs> eggs, there we go. Right, people, that's two out of the three rounds. Who do you think is winning so far? One round left. Remember, you vote for the winner, and whoever wins this round is the winner. The stakes could not be lower. <laughs> Adele, you're <joking. laughs> Um, I visited a city in Germany recently that was absolutely covered in semen. I think it was Wankfurt. <laughs> <laughs> love Dev, love you, love, 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 love Dev. Well, I think Adele's won that round already. <laughs> Adele, do you know what a Nazi's favourite curry is? Swastika. <laughs> Oh, yes, I get it, I get it. Oh, you get that now, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> right, Ian, you're good, please. Uh, I really think you've got to feel sorry for German cats. What with them having nine lives? Nine lives, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Tony, if you can complete the round. <laughs> I'll try. Well, I see... Germany is a bit of a touchy subject for me because uh, I'm not a fan of Germany because my dad nearly choked to death in Germany on a, on a German sausage. And, of course, after that, we feared the worst. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the end of the round. I This is the topic I had the most jokes on, you'll be sad to hear. So I'm going to do some of them. <laughs> do them. Do them. Do them. <laughs> what you call a German who enjoys... Three summers with a wild dog. Wolfgang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> what you call a German football hooligan? Jürgen, I get your fucking head kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do um, I'll do this one. This is pushing it a bit. This is in this is in Adele territory. This one. Which German car? <laughs> which German car likes to put its logo in a certain part of a woman's vagina in the Middle East? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Audi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> Julian for that ride. Yeah. I'll tell you what, with a, with a, with a, with a high road joke there. Colin, come in, stay at the sanity of the family. Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, someone messaged in saying you should tell your football hooligan joke, Julian. So they got their wish. Oh, on that. yeah. There was, um, yeah, it was Dave. There we go. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Dave, he wanted that joke. You got what you wanted, Dave. Um, okay, I my German is terrible. I don't speak any German, so you're going to have to help me up with some of these um, <laughs> pronunciations. Um, Pavarotti's favourite opera, opera song told the tale of a journey between two towns. S and Dorman. All right, fine, good. I think this is this is just a comment on someone enjoying the show. Um, after watching this, being drunk with laughter, I will probably wake up with a hangover. Hanover. 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 Oh, Hanover. Hanover. <laughs> Hanover. <laughs> Look, I shouldn't I really shouldn't be doing this job. I can't read tonight. What's going on? Okay. Um oh every <laughs> every little house. All right, okay. Um, Chris, I get this one. <laughs> My grandfather went over the top. He said he won the war single-handed. <laughs> so he went over the top. Um, that was we'll a get... world ranking competition. Won that single <laughs> yeah, what they say at the end of the world ranking competition, Alf Wiener saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supermodels with eating disorders by Heidi Crumb. All right. Um, who's this? Okay, Peter, the German leader 
is a dribble leader is always fishing for compliments. Sorry, no, that's her sister, Angela Merkel. Merkel. Do we, <laughs> is that just me, or do we need some clarification on that, or is that just me? Fishing, Angela. It's, uh, keeping it, keeping it real there. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Um, uh, let's have a look. Oh, I, I, that was a good one, and I enjoyed this one. This is. Uh, there's a German barber in my village. We call him. Uh, yeah, 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 we <laughs> what about the German aviator? Otto Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so um, who let's. Who won? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the votes. Um, Adele for Wankford. I mean, that is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. um, we've also got a vote there for Ian. Um, from Peter, uh, what else? Ian, another Ian says, love Dev to win that one. Uh, Sherbert says, uh, it should be Adele to win that one. <laughs> um, as I scroll up, um, and, uh, Rob Tofield also says, Wankfoot wins it. So, Yay, Rob, <laughs> it's, it's clear that the Sunday night audience is filthy and they think that Adele wins that round for Wankfoot. Yeah. Any pun was going to pull it off. That <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can rub people up the wrong way though. Pops it about now, go. <laughs> oh, his sister says Adele for Wankford, so there yeah. you go. I think Wankford definitely won that one, absolutely. Really came through for me. I can't get rid of them now. I can't get rid of any of the comments. There we are. All right. So, Colin, are you going to announce the winner? Uh, yeah, it, it appears that uh, by a win of three rounds, the winner tonight, everyone, is... Adele Cliff. My parents and everyone who ever believed in me, like <laughs> fans, like to thank the concept of wanking. Um, it's a big day, big day for me. Thanks. Right. <laughs> uh, although Adele wins, and I congratulate Adele, of course. I think a special mention needs to go to Colin's reading ability tonight. So oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Keep this up, Colin. You'll be on the, the hungry caterpillar before long. <laughs> <laughs> right, just quickly, yeah. just mention, again, if anyone wants to make a voluntary contribution, if you've enjoyed yourself tonight, we're going to be here next Sunday at 7 o'clock as well. Please send us a little bit of money at paypal.me forward slash UK pun off. We're not trying to make loads of money or anything. We just want to cover the costs. We are. We are. We <laughs> Don't listen to me. Air dive for love, Dev. Give us your money. Batteries for a day. Retirement money. Got <laughs> reading tests for Colin. Okay. So, uh, and, uh, you know, very close for our guest tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we have a round of applause for our guest tonight, Tony Cowards? Yay. Oh, thank you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> right. If you mention uh, anything during the week, will you use our hashtag UK Pun Off on Twitter? Trying to get that going. Um, and what I'm going to do, just going to quickly go around. Adele, have you got anything you want to promote this week? Nah, I'm all right, thanks. Very <laughs> 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 Love Dev, have you got anything? Yeah, sure. Just uh, drop my uh, last episode called Sheffield Where's Dave? And that's on my podcast, a crazy little thing called Love Dev. Great, right, get it listened to. Ian, have you got anything going this week? Um, not much, just the usual new joke every day on my Facebook page at iMacPun. Uh, Tony, have you got anything you'd like to mention, please? Um, I've got various bits and pieces going on, but the best thing to do is um, just follow me on Twitter at Tony Cowards. Uh, Tony find out Cowards. what pieces I'm doing. Excellent, Colin. Right. Apart from uh, an eye examination this week, what are you up to? <laughs> uh, no, that's going to take up most of my week. I think getting some new eyes. <laughs> okay, then that's brilliant. Thanks, all the panelists. Can I just thank everybody who's watched, everybody who sent a joke in? It does help with the show. And as you can see, sometimes you're funnier than we are. Not as funny as Colin reading the wrong thing, obviously, but <laughs> <laughs> we do appreciate it. If you enjoy it and you've got friends who you think would appreciate it, why not tell them about it? 
It is free to watch, and all we're seeing is maybe put a voluntary contribution in. We're going to have a round of applause for the viewers, for everyone who took part. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. And good night.